Reference planes are the bones of your families. If you don't master them, your families will fail. Here are 5 tips to unleash their full potential. Tip number 1. Set the is reference parameter. When selecting a reference plane, you can see a parameter called is reference. You can pick between multiple options, including not a reference, strong reference, weak reference. Then you can see different sides such as left, right, back and center. Setting up this value is important. In this case, we set up all sides of the family. This will be helpful later on. Tip number two, set a name to the reference planes. In addition to the is reference parameter, make sure to enter a name to the reference plane. If it is a major side of the family, such as front and back, you can use the same name as the is reference parameter. If it is not a side, such as left or right, try to give a precise and descriptive name. To be clear, not setting up a name isn't the end of the word. It will not break your family. But setting up names will make it much easier to use and modify for the end user. Also, too many unnamed reference planes can slow down the family and the projects they are placed in. Tip number three. Reference planes can be used for dimensions and align. The reason it is important to properly set up reference planes is because you can use them to align dimensions once loaded into a project. In this case, there is a reference plane away from the geometry. Once this family is in the project, you can set a dimension to this reference plane even though it is invisible. You can use this to modify the dimension value. You can also use the align tool to place the family to specific offset from an element. When using the align tool, you notice that the reference plane name displays here. It also indicates that this is a weak reference. Let's modify this family. Select the reference plane and set not a reference in the is reference parameter. When you load it back, you notice that you can't use the align or dimension tool on this reference plane anymore. Therefore, think carefully about which reference planes should be a reference. Now, let's talk about the difference between strong and weak reference. In this case, the length of this family is an instance parameter. If you align the family, the dimension is changed and the family stretch because the strong reference has priority over the geometry. In the family below, the reference plane is set to weak. When using the align tool, Revit will prioritize the geometry instead of the plane. That means the element will move instead of being stretched. Tip number four, set up the origin planes. The origin point of each Revit family is set up with the reference planes. In this case, we have a family whose origin is at the center, and another one with the origin at the top left. Let's open this family. When the center reference planes are selected, you can see that the defines origin parameter is active. You must set the origin for both the reference plane and the x and y axis. When you check the defines origin box for a different reference plane, this value will be turned off for the reference plane that originally had the parameter active. Let's move to the second family. You can see that the reference planes at the top left have the parameter defines origin active. Now let's try to modify the dimension of these families. You can see that the center remains at the same location for this one. For the other family, the top left origin is maintained when the dimensions are modified. Now, try to swap this family to the one with the center origin. As you can see, the origin is always used as the anchor when switching families. It is crucial to think carefully about where we want to place the origin. Tip number five, set a color code. Some families can have dozens of reference planes. It can get confusing to navigate and understand the family. A way to make things more clear is to add different colors to the reference plane. In this case, you want to set a different colors to the reference plane representing the origin. Select the reference planes. In the subcategory drop down menu, select Create New Subcategory. Enter a name. Set a line pattern and a color. The origin is now indicated by the pink reference planes. Colored reference planes can also be used for doors and windows families to represent the rough dimensions. Be careful though, too many colors could create confusion. Don't go beyond three or four colors. If you've enjoyed this video, check out our new Revit course called Herrick Families. This course will teach you how to create strong, powerful, lean, and efficient families your colleagues will love using. The course focuses on high-level principles and advanced strategies, although it also contains content for family beginners. It includes an ebook PDF, video tutorials, case studies, the Mega Revit sample file, access to live masterclasses, and more. Check out the link in the video description to get all the details.